Hi everyone and welcome to Seminar 5. For Seminar 5 this week, we're going to be reading chapters 29 through 31. We're going to be looking at the role of monetary policy and how the Fed influences our economy. You'll notice that the Fed has a lot of influence over a lot of things that we do in the economy. So I think you'll find this week very important. For this week, we're going to be looking at the following key areas within chapters 29 through 31. So you want to make sure to review this. And it's very important to evaluate the role of the Fed. So when you look at this, make sure that you're finding articles related to these topics right here. Because that will be very important. Make sure to also have APA formatting, a graph that's either from an outside reference or a graph that you created. But to save time, I would just take a graph from the PowerPoint. But make sure to cite it appropriately. If you need help or you'd like me to pre-grade Current Event Focus 5, just let me know. Send it to me through email as I can easily do that. But you'll find that there's a ton of articles out there on the Fed as there are many things that you can focus on. Then research paper 2, we're going to be looking at the analysis of the policy. So you're going to be looking at analysis, analysis your, or analyze your economic policy in terms of appropriateness for the market failure problem. So given that the market has failed, the government gets involved. Identify some of the pros and cons of the actual impact on the economy. And create a graph to show the intended impact. Again, you can show how the economy is doing with a graph that you found. But make sure that you have APA formatting, which includes both a title page and reference page, to support your work. And then you have the participation. The participation is going to be focused on 10 posts of at least one paragraph of original content. And if you find anything, please put a citation in there. If you have any questions, if you want me to review any of the uh, content, shoot me an email. I'll be more than willing to assist, but I look forward to your effort.